Yep, salam alaikum and welcome to my channel. It's still Aisha, it's still the same day, and thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, you are welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and yeah, let's get right into this topic. Today's topic is going to be about Jannah. Like, again, it's the end of the Ramadan. Let me just quick bring it. Okay. Okay. The plight of being in hijab. Okay, anyway, so it's the end of Ramadan. Again, it's the 26th, so five days already. Um, after Ramadan, after the Eid. So, yeah. And you know what? I actually also wanted to do this in Ramadan, but it didn't work out. So much things going on. So work and yeah so many things going on work and school and all other emergencies so i couldn't you know it's i'm gonna use my own my shea butter to i just used my shea butter too as a lip balm okay anyways so yeah i have to bring my ipad for this because that's the only way I'm going to be able to remember everything I wrote down. And yeah. If you can see that. But anyways, I'm going to be sharing it anyway. So sit tight. Um, yeah. So during the Ramadan, I don't know if you guys know. Uh, really, it's something that he does every Ramadan. But I had no idea. And But... This time he did the Jannah series, and if you guys know who I'm talking about, of course it's Dr. Omar Suleiman. And yeah, he did the Jannah series, and I am pretty sure that I watch I've watched every single episode. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've watched every single episode, including the last one. But I need to rewatch it, the last one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I watched everything. And also, Dr. Haifa Yunus, Yunus or Yunus, Dr. Haifa Yunus, he, she also did the, like, the Ramadan series where she talked about the prophet's wives, his daughters, Halilbite, the people in the prophet's households. So, like, the exclusive companions which are his wives and like daughters and women the closest to him that are all like females yeah the builder build, builder of a nation i think that's what the series is called and she and towards the end of Ramadan, she talked about some of the mothers of say imam malik imam buhari imam shafi so she talked about those women. And honestly, like, I enjoyed both series. I didn't know that it was um, Dr. Omar Suleiman just every Ramadan. I had no idea. I just, like, found out about it. And I was like, hmm, I want to watch it. Especially the very first few episodes that he did. And he was asking, um, he was asking the people, like, what gender is for them, what the think it's gonna be like what like who they want to meet and everything like that that's resonate and i've always you know as a muslim you just kind of wonder about it i don't know about every like as a muslim i wonder about it like what's gonna be like but jenna is something that's no hair no eyes has ever seen has ever heard of or feel or something like that that's how it's um explained and you know sometimes you just kind of wonder that like like you know if you as a human being i know we like to create links we are like to make um make associations because that's the that's the only thing we know it's when you kind of think about that think about life and the life of the afterlife the like the life of the gender and you like so is it going to be like how I'm feeling now? But by what I've heard and by what I've understand so far, it's nothing compared to what we feel right now. I mean, you're going to be physically 
physically like tall, like really, really tall, like the Prophet Adam Ali Salam. You're gonna be like so tall like that. Like so many kind of other kind of nuance. I don't want to say nuance. Another kind of things like that. Like your emotions probably more heightened, your senses also heightened and everything more like multiplied like exponentially i think i don't even want to use multiplication i think it's going to be like exponential wait like just shoot up the dr omar Suleiman, the jenna series i especially like the first part where he asks people like um what's gender like for you who would you like to meet and everything and i've always kind of actually have those kind of parts those kind of like like inshallah like i pray that we all make it there i pray that allah forgive our sins and overlook our shortcomings like honestly when you think when you, when you talk about the deen of allah you just pray that allah make it possible and make it easy for you to worship him in the way that he would have mercy on you like really we all need mercies of allah to get to jenna because nothing that we do nothing that we do will the way that jenna is described and the way that we human behave and be like hmm, do we even qualify <laughs> do we even qualify but um inshallah we do and he have mercies on us and like we are spared from jahannam and yeah so I don't want to do a reaction video because I don't do reaction video. I don't ever think I will do a reaction video, but you never know. Maybe I will, maybe not. So I just kind of like want to reply to that. And like what I also think that if I'm being interviewed as like, what is gender for you? What do you think it's going to be? What's like? There's so many information about gender, about paradise. Also, in like in the Christianity faith and in other faith, there's so there's so many um, description of what the paradise is, what it what it's like. But as we know, nobody's been there. Well, the prophets Adam and the and Awal and Azra to Awal, they were. I mean, Ali Salam, Ali Salam. So they have been to Jannah, like literally. It's like uh, if we want, to, if we actually want to look at this very distinct, distinctively, and like in another way, you can be like, "Well, my forefathers have been." <laughs> oh my! God. You can be like, "Yeah, well, my great, 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 great." great all the way great 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 i don't know how many times we have to say great father came from jenna so it's like it's like naturally humans are inhabitants of jenna inhabitants of paradise but we know who came up and we know what happened there and we know why we're down here so we have to prove to ourselves and we have to prove we have to work for it like you have to work right you have to work to get the mercies of Allah and you have to work to attain your final home imagine your final home and Jenna is so beautiful and like when when I think of Jenna I'll be like say just peace 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 like everlasting peace no more wars going on like I just was just reading online now that's the Sudanese um, chaos has erupted, and so many people have lost their lives. Like, so this kind of thing, like, even if you build, if you say that, well, it's not me doing it, it's not like I'm doing my part, and you're probably like, maybe you're donating or you're part of like the emergency team that's on the front line that's going to help people. Sometimes you just be like, and then you heard of this gender, be like, am I even worth gender? Like, do I deserve gender? Like, even though maybe you pray, maybe you fast, maybe you do extra, extra stuff, like, am I? 
like that there's there's still that doubts and that question that's always coming like am i am i is this enough for this love is what i'm doing enough like you know sometimes i feel like oh you know i have like i'm living in this western world there's no chaos there's no fight there's no war i mean there's little um chaos is here and there the magnitude the chaos that's happening it's not so magnified or it's not so enormous that it's affecting every part or every areas of your life so you just be like do i even deserve this do i even deserve the peace that i'm having when in another place it's completely opposite and you be like oh they deserve so much more they deserve this too they deserve this is they deserve a quiet life even no matter how minimal it is i mean like the life that we live here and have their life but you might say that it's minimal and you feel like oh somebody i mean i feel comfortable and i want to share this comfort with another person and because they deserve it too i'm not the only person that should be living this comfortable life regardless of however comfortable you are even if you're like 10 percent and then you see someone out there that's like five percent like oh they also deserve this too you know you always have that but alhamdulillah life we're where we are and yeah it's just so sad what goes around the world and you always wonder am i doing enough like is this enough am i doing the right thing and you know all those existential kind of question you know if you want to get into philosophy the deductive reasoning so i have this list down that's why jenna what is jenna for me you know inshallah i pray i pray that we all make it to jenna i think that's the main thing we all make it to jenna because regardless we nobody knows and we can always pray and make it, and make a good effort not good efforts good efforts i know some people are giving the glide tidings and they know that they they are i don't know maybe some people know that they are or maybe they are some people are actually giving the glide tidings from like in this world like they know where they're going to end up in the high era. like they know during the judgment day their records or their book is going to be given to them in their right hands there are some people that i guess like through hard work and through dedication and discipline they they have they are given that privilege in this world to know where they're gonna end up imagine imagine if we are just people and we can only try we can only ask for Allah's forgiveness and pray for his mercy because we all ultimately regardless of what you do what you how great you are with your prayers with everything with all the obligations ultimately it depends on the mercies of Allah if you gain his mercies so so I had the list down and I wouldn't be able to ever say everything or to encapsulate everything I want to see or everything I want to feel or everything I want to or everyone I want to know in this video. I won't be able to ever encapsulate that in this video, which is why but I've made like short notes and short little sentences of what gender looks like for me what it is what i think first of all i want to make it there inshallah i pray i pray i want to see my family there i want to see my friends i want to see i want to see you i want to see you there maybe we can meet one in one and i can interview you because i want to go around and be like if we're interviewing people in general like so tell us but in this era, of this era, of this test, of that, like Oprah style. But my style too. But I've been going around, like imagine, like, I mean, imagine Jenna, like billions, billions, it's probably like billions of people in Jenna, or even like millions. You can like say Allah is the real estate. You know what I mean? The real one. 
Yeah, you be like, say, Anna is the real, the real, the real real estate realtor, like the real realtor, like, like you imagine, like millions and billions. That's the way I kind of think about it. Like, it will be millions of people in paradise, inshallah, like billions or even like more than that, gajillions, trillions people in general, like really. The real so you gotta secure your estate you gotta secure your golden building and yeah i don't know if you if you guys have ever heard of this one but i feel like i've heard it somewhere somewhere that what if you're i mean because you know the descriptions of paradise is just like they're going to have rural hain um the men are going to have rural hain and it's going to be golden houses and um silver houses and pierres and all those kind of thing and i'd be like <laughs> hold on hold on what if some of us some of us some of us go camping for it be like say what if my gender is a hot like a, a beautiful <laughs> humor me what if my what if my gender looks like a hot like a beautifully well clayed well baked clayed hot with beautiful raffias on there oh, man, i feel like i've heard it somewhere before like what if what if i want my house to be built out of water it's like okay but the notion is that you get whatever you want in general so i think that there is that possibility that if you are those if you are that anomaly that wants your gender to be a beautifully clayed baked hot you're gonna get it with beautiful raffia on top because that's your gender i guess you can have that too so i was just kind of thinking about it like okay i know like some people will get like um pearl, pearls kind of house or golden but what if some people be like my gender is a house built out of trees or out of like a house that actually look like plant house like the structure and the features and everything about the house is just plants like i know i mean people are creative and yeah or, or what if you just want water or what if you want to be living in like hair like oxygen you want to be living like your ideal gender is just like you have hair oxygen or i don't know i don't know i'm just i'm just putting out there because i know like there's some i mean it wouldn't be really bad to have like a nice beautiful hat in general raffia palm trees on top as roofs i mean like where do we live in africa I mean, where do we live in Africa? In those days, so before we have Lakey and all those phase one and phase two buildings, like huts. So, what if your gender looks like a hut? Don't come for me. Don't come for me. I'm just saying my own. Okay, humor me. So yeah, I'm going to be going around and interviewing everyone. So in this century, we heard that this is what happened. So enlighten us, tell us more. <laughs> I feel like that would be me. Oprah style, just go around and just tell us more. And then imagine trying to interview trillions of people in paradise. I feel, I feel like the way that um, Jenner is described to us, you will be interviewing one person for centuries before we even get to the other person. And of course, there are beautiful scenes, so I want to see all that. I want to see it. I can show. I don't know about you. I mean, Ramadan just ended, and I know there is always, always that controversy about Laila Tila Qadr. So I want to kind of figure out, like, since the beginning of time, since Islam started, so what are the days of Laila Tila Qadr? Like, I don't know. It'll be, I feel like it's something that I want to know. Um, Again, don't come for me. I'm just saying my own. Go make your own list. 
the major convention is like the Laila Solikadori is on the last 10 days of Ramadan. But in this era or in this time, like people are so focused on like the 27 or like the all the odd days and they only put it in the odd days, which is like, it literally can be any of these days. It literally can be any of these last 10 days. So why just not do it all? Like, I mean, that's the way I feel. That's the way I feel. I've always heard that it's the last 10 days. So I've always been inclined and to do prayers on those last 10 days. So, and I mean, like, if you want to be like, say, the prophet say, look in these certain days, in the odd days, my, still, you, you're you not going to lose anything if you do like that whole God in all of the last 10 nights. Because... Tahajo praying the last third part of the night. Tahajo Laila you just do it. That's the way I feel. Like it literally can be any day. Imagine if you think it's on twenty five or if they say it's on the twenty seven and it's actually the twenty eighth. Or it's on the twenty or in the twenty two. And I know that people be like say when you wake up the 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 glare or the rays from the Sun is not there. Do if it's the weather, that's so cutery and all those kind of explanations that the rays from the sun is not there or the glare is not there during the day of the light, that's so But you know, last year when we did this Ramadan, I actually go every time because the sun come out about five o'clock, like last year, like where I live anyway. So it comes out. So I I actually go there to look if I will see the sign of the lateral cutter. And my God, like I'm I don't know. Someday I feel like okay, the glare is a little bit less. The rays are not there. Maybe it's there. And the next day that I go, I feel like it's the same. I still see the same thing. So I don't know. Maybe like you have to be like a professional to look at this thing and like to like, measure it out or like no exactly but for me i was like you know this all look i don't know i feel like this all look the same so i don't know which is which or maybe i saw it and i'm just like and i just get overwhelmed and i'm just thinking like maybe what if it's not what if it's actually tomorrow what if but honestly yeah so i want to know i want to know for me i also want to witness encounters like you know encounters like you don't see the prophet Salam, or other prophets meeting like the the people that we call iconic in this era. See somebody like Malcolm X. If you want to like go in, go a bit more and be like, see Dr. Martin Luther King. I know Dr. Martin King was not, um, he was not Muslim, but he was assassinated. And you know, in Islam or the con. I mean, don't quote me again. I'm just going out of my reasoning here. When people are 